Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net. We're picking apart XAML bit by bit, and in this brief video, I want to explain one curious little feature called type converters that we see in play in this example that we created in the previous lesson, this What is XAML app. So you'll notice a couple of things here. First of all, I uncommented out the button on our main page.xaml, and if you took a few moments to uh, to examine this project between the previous video and this video, and if you had a keen eye, you may have noticed that the horizontal alignment property, and this goes true as well for the vertical alignment, but let's just focus on horizontal alignment property is set to a string with the value left. However, the C sharp version is a little bit different. If you take a look at when we set that horizontal alignment property, we're actually using a strongly typed enumeration, not a string, a strongly typed enumeration of type uh, windows.ui.xaml.horizontalalignment and the particular enumeration is also left, but it's strongly typed. So how does this work? Why is it that we can use a string here, but we have to use a strong type in C-sharp? Well, the reason why this works is because the XAML parser will perform a conversion to turn this string value into a strongly typed version of that value of type windows.ui.xaml.horizontalalignment.left through the use of a feature called a type converter. And a type converter is simply a class that has one function, and that is to translate a string value into a strong type. And there are several of these that are built into the Universal Windows Platform API that we'll use throughout this series. So in this example, the horizontal alignment property, when it was developed by Microsoft's developers, was marked with a special, a special attribute in the source code, which signals to the XAML parser that looks through our code and makes sure everything is okay and that it would compile, uh, to, to run that string value left through a type converter and try to match the literal string left with one of the enumeration values defined in this uh, windows.ui.xaml.horizontal alignment enumeration. So just for fun, let's take a look at what happens if we were to misspell the word left. Let's just get rid of the T on the end. And notice that right away, the XAML parser kicks in and says, wait a second, I can't find a match for this literal string left without the T with any of the enumerations that are defined in this windows.ui.xaml.horizontalalignment enumeration. All right, so you can see how this works uh, and we'll get a comp basically a compilation error because the type converter can't find the exact match so that it can convert that to a strong type. So one of the first characteristics of XAML as we, we begin to pick it apart bit by bit is that it's a succinct means of creating instances of classes and setting properties and type converters. It's one little trick that uh, XAML uses that helps to accomplish this so that we don't have to waste characters and that we can actually just use a very succinct syntax to set values that might be uh, actually representing longer uh, class and enumeration names behind the scenes. Okay, simple as that. So let's keep on moving along and, uh, and investigating XAML. More XAML in the next lesson. We'll see you there. Thanks.